Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So we obviously have little Hudson here with us today. He'll probably be hanging out with us the rest of the day. Um, but before I jump into today's vlog, I just wanted to say hello and give a big thank you to all of our new subscribers. I feel like we have jumped up so much since the last video I posted, and I'm just so grateful for all of you guys. So to show you guys how much I am grateful for you, we will be doing a giveaway um, later in today's video. So stay tuned for that, because I'll be announcing that later. Um, and I just want to say I love you all, and I'm so happy you're all here. And yeah, so now we will go ahead and jump into the vlog. Okay, so we've actually had quite a crazy morning already. Our gas is out. It's actually out in our neighborhood and then like a bunch of other neighborhoods just because they're doing construction and I guess someone hit a major gas line and it just shut it all off. So we have had no gas, which means we've had no heat and no heated water the whole night and the whole morning. So we were really bundled up last night and we're all like cuddling together and just trying to stay warm, but it's just getting too cold. So we are actually gonna head to my mom's house or we'll kind of hang out for a while. And then she's gonna watch him. I'm actually getting my hair done today. It is time to get it done today. I um, actually had extensions and I took them out because he is starting to be able to use his hands and he just rips out my hair. So I'll just probably go and get it colored and then maybe add like a one row back in just for thickness or something. Yeah, you talking? Um, but nothing too crazy, just pretty low maintenance. Now that I am a mom, it's a little bit harder to just go and get your hair done and spend hours there. So I definitely want to do something that's a little bit more realistic, but still cute. So that's all I'll be doing today. And then later on in the vlog, I thought I would do like a Q&A, get to know me, get to know us, like our family, everything, just because we have so many new subscribers here. And then I'll also announce the giveaway at some point today. So we are gonna head over to my mom's house, probably get a swig. If you watch my other videos, you know that's literally my favorite drink place. Oh yeah, you ready to go? Yep, and so that is what we'll be doing now. All right, I just left my mom's house. I took Hudson there, and then I hung out with him and my little sister for a while, and then I had to leave to go get my hair done. So they, my little sister and my mom are babysitting him while I'm doing that, and I've never left him for this long, so I'm kind of dying on the inside. Um, but that's kind of why I want to make my hair a little bit less maintenance because I don't want to have to go so often because I just hate leaving him and my hair is kind of a process so it takes a while like it's not just a short appointment so I want to make it way more low maintenance let it grow do its thing um, so I'll kind of am going to be doing something different with my hair today we'll see if it looks like way different but I definitely want to be more low maintenance I did just go through so wig so I am good to go for my appointment with my caffeine kick and yeah that's what I'm doing now I'm pretty excited to get my hair done but also miss my baby so I'm having mixed emotions okay so I just got my hair done and I think it looks so good we did like the mom chop but in reality it's like the length of my hair but we did add one roll of extensions I'm a sucker for extensions just for thickness and then just cut them to like the length of my hair um in the front of my hair like definitely had like some broken pieces like these so it just makes it look longer and fuller in the front um, but I absolutely love it. It's just way more convenient with a baby. I have a baby that just grabs my hair and rips it out. So I am loving the length. And then we went a little bit darker with the color. Just a little bit low, more low maintenance. I'm so dark that to be so blonde it can be a little bit hard. And my roots just come in like so harsh. So I definitely love this. I seriously have had extensions for like 10 years now I think. Like for forever. I've had like every kind that you put in every brand and the brand I put in my hair is by far my favorite it's called intertwined hair it's like a family run business it's like by the cutest girls and I have never had better quality hair so I'll put their link below if anyone's interested they have like clip-ins if and they ship anywhere so they have like clip-ins if you just want to do it yourself or if you want to like, bring them to your stylist they have like a bunch of different kinds so I'm obsessed with their hair it's just so healthy and thick I've had this hair for like a really long time now like eight months now and it's still just so healthy and thick like it just lasts forever so definitely love it I miss my baby though so I just pulled up to my mom's I'm gonna go get him I cannot wait to see him and then I think we're gonna go home and actually go grocery shopping and then we'll do a Q&A and get to this giveaway okay so obviously it's a completely different day I got so busy the other day that I had no time to film the Q&A and then I got dark and then like, you know, I have a baby, so Hudson I had to take care of, so it just didn't end up working out. 
but it is just the next day and I have time today to sit down and to film the Q&A. Um, just because I want you guys to get to know me because I feel like we have so many new people here. And then I also want to get to know you guys, which will be part of the giveaway. So with that being said, a while ago I did a Q&A on my Instagram. Um, just asking like what kind of questions you guys want to know from me So I have a bunch of questions from that to answer and then as well as just like things that have been asked on my channel So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so a simple question, but I got asked it a lot um, Which is how old are you and I am actually 23 So I feel like I'm a pretty young mom, but I wanted it that way. Just my mom was a young mom. So and I Just want to be one and then another question I got asked a lot was like how long have Jake and I been married? How did we meet? All that kind of stuff. So I'll just answer that as well. So Jake and I um, have been married like almost three years. I want to say just like two, like over two and a half years. We got married in May of 2018. Um, and then I have actually known Jake since the seventh grade. So I have known him literally for more than half my life. I met him when I was 11. And we actually met in first period of seventh grade class and I thought he was so cute and he thought I was so cute. We did get engaged and married pretty fast, but I've known him literally for so long. So it wasn't too quick for me, um, but that's kind of how we met. And yeah, he's just my best friend, has been since day one, always taking care of me. So he is the best. Okay, so another question that I got asked a lot on Instagram was if I gained any weight with my pregnancy or if I got like any stretch marks like the real the real tea so I definitely gained weight with my pregnancy I'm not gonna lie I enjoyed myself I was like I don't know I just didn't want to do anything to like maybe like accidentally harm my baby like I mean it was my first one so I was just like being super I don't know cautious I guess and so I just enjoyed myself took some time off I'd go for walks but I didn't fully work out a ton so I definitely gained some weight with my pregnancy, um, but I don't know. Things about bodies that are so amazing is that they can just change to what you're doing at the time. So it's like when it's time to have a baby, like your hips spread and everything kind of grows and you stretch and all these things to, like, to have this like beautiful little baby. But then if you, I don't know, eat like certain foods, like healthy, work out, like it'll just come right back. Like it might take some time, but if you just put in like the effort, it will. So bodies are just amazing. And so I wasn't like too worried with my weight gain. I honestly just kind of laughed. I definitely weighed more than my husband, but that is a-okay. <laughs> I was just so, I don't know. I just definitely didn't regret it. And now that I'm six weeks postpartum, I actually just got cleared like a couple days ago to start working out. I've worked out every day and I'm back eating healthy and just back on the grind. And I'm actually gonna film a video with that showing you kind of what I've done to like with my weight gain and like getting it back. Yeah, because bodies are just amazing and they can just kind of do whatever you put your mind to or whatever they're going through at the moment. Um, and then also, did I get stretch marks? I did get stretch marks. So I got them, not on my stomach, which I was surprised. I was like, okay, because I feel like my stomach was huge. But I got them on like my boobs and my butt. And the ones on my boobs, I'm not going to lie, don't really bother me too bad. They're pretty light. I feel like it's just pretty common. Um, but the ones on my butt definitely bugged me because I got them when I was pregnant. Um, until I had my baby and I was like I would take all the stretch marks to have this baby so I know they'll lighten if they don't it is what it is I mean you can definitely kind of see them in a swimsuit but I mean that's just the reality of life and that's the beauty of giving birth is that your body changes and it's honestly if you think about a stretch mark it just means that your body was kind of doing what it needed to do to grow and to make that baby come so I don't hate them too bad but during pregnancy i was like oh no my body but then after the experience i was like this is just i would take a million of these to have a million of him so but i did get some and i did gain a lot of weight okay so another question i got asked was how long did it take me to get pregnant so jake and i tried for i want to say exactly three months like almost to the day like i think i got i was on an iud and i think i got it out literally three months of the day that I got pregnant. So it took us a couple months. Um, honestly, not too long. I was really blessed that way. But I just wanna say like any of you that struggle with infertility or it's taking a long time, I just, my heart goes out to you because I know that three months was pretty short, but it felt like forever. And I know people try for way longer than that. And just know I love you and I'm praying for you guys and that I'm hoping the best for you all because I know that it is a really tough thing to go through. 
um, and I can't imagine what some people even go through. So I'm just very grateful, but I love you all and wish the best for everyone. So a fun one that I get asked a lot is, do I have any like filler? And I do, but I don't think it's lasted. So I will sometimes get some filler put in my lips. Obviously I was pregnant for like, oh, it's almost been a whole year since I was pregnant. So it's been even longer than that since I've gotten my lips done. So it's pretty much, I wanna say just gone. Like I definitely feel like I could use some more. I usually get it in my top lip mostly and it's definitely going down, but I do have filler in my lips. I don't have it any or else I think one time I did a teeny tiny bit in my under eye like over a year ago, but that was it and it was like the tiniest amount. Um, I think I just had some leftover from like my syringe lip, like the syringe in my lips and I was like, I'll throw some in my under eye because I don't want to waste it because it's expensive. <laughs> and so they did, but I definitely think that that's gone too. I have gone like Botox and Dysport. I actually used to work from a medical spa, so got the hook up there, but um, I haven't had it, obviously pregnant, haven't had it. I'm nursing, haven't had it in a while. I do love Botox and Dysport. They're like the same thing, but they are the best. If you have any more questions on that, or wanna see a video on that, um, let me know because I know people have so many questions on that kind of stuff. And I had a lot of questions on it, even just working there, but I definitely have had that done and that is it. So that is all of the filler that I have in my body. Okay, so another question I got asked that I think would be fun to answer was my favorite and least favorite thing about pregnancy. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed my pregnancy. Like, I don't know what it was. I just think my, I don't know, I just loved it. But my favorite thing about pregnancy as a whole would probably be, this sounds probably dumb, but just that I had like this little person with me anywhere I went. If I went to the store, I wasn't fully alone. I had my little baby in my tummy and he was just kicking, letting me know he was there. Or, you know, if I went on a walk, like I wasn't alone, like I had him, like it was just kind of fun just to think back that, like think like that because I don't know, it just was like my little bud everywhere I went. And so I think that was my favorite thing about it. And I'm not gonna lie, when I was pregnant, towards the end, I was just, my stomach was so big. I was like, I'm not gonna miss this bump. It's heavy, I have to go to the bathroom all the time. I'm tired. And um, ever since I've had Hudson, I love him so much, but I actually do miss my bump just because he, can just go out and do his own thing. He's not just with me all the time. So that was probably my favorite thing was just having him always with me and being able to feel him. Um, my least favorite thing would probably be um, the nausea. My first trimester, I got pretty sick and I would just throw up all the time. Like I'd wake up and that's what would get me out of bed and then just throughout the day, the same thing would happen. Um, so that was definitely not fun my first trimester. So those are probably my favorite and least favorite things about pregnancy. Another thing that I got asked was, was I nervous um, to, for becoming a new mom? And honestly, I really wasn't. I don't know, I think I was just so excited that I wasn't too nervous. I will say a thing that I think has helped me is that I've stayed off Google. When I was pregnant, I was Googling everything. I was like, is this okay? Like, can I eat this? Can I do that? Can I boo? Um, which probably was a reason why I was so cautious, but being a new mom, I've just kind of gone off more of like intuition or calling other moms. I have so many sister-in-laws that are moms or like my mom or my mother-in-law or even my own sister, just like, I would just call them because they've done it, they've been through it, they know. Um, and I think with Google, it can be a little scary because it's like, yeah, that could happen, but is that really what's happening? I don't know, I feel like there's just so much information that I just rather call mom and then go off my own mother's intuition. So I haven't been too nervous. I've just been excited. I've honestly loved it. But yeah, so that is that question. Just gotta take a drink break. I literally have to have a soda every day. That is something about me. But I did get asked this a lot and it's not really an answer question, but I got asked a lot to do like a hair tutorial video or a makeup tutorial video and honestly today's like the first day I've actually been able to like do my makeup usually I just do like my 10 minute makeup routine but if you guys are interested in that I can definitely film it for you I just wasn't sure like how many people are interested in that so if you were leave a comment down below um if you're interested in hair or makeup or honestly neither just let me know um but I did get asked a lot to film those I also got asked just on that same topic was how I whiten my teeth. Um, 
honestly, I, so I didn't wind the male pregnancy, obviously, but the moment I was done being pregnant, I was like, gotta wind my teeth. I just, it's like, um, I don't know, what's it called? It's like a, I don't know. I just feel like ever since I was little, it's just something that I've had to have is my teeth whitened. Um, like the first thing I just noticed on people is a smile, like obviously with masks. It's a little bit hard for that. But ever since I was little, like that's the first thing I noticed is like their smile. Just cause I think smiles are the best thing in the whole world. So I have tried so many teeth whitener. I will say that I have tried everything. I've tried going to the dentist and like doing that at home trays. I've tried going somewhere where they like whiten it professionally for you. And the best, honestly, the best teeth whitener you can get is the Crest 3D White Strips. I wanna say they're like 50 or 60 bucks. I'll link them below. Um, so they are, I feel like for like the grocery store, a little bit more expensive, but they work bomb. If you have sensitive teeth, the other thing that I noticed is their toothpaste and mouthwash combo also helps to keep your teeth really white without whitening them. I won't say it's like fully like the strips, but it definitely helps. Or I feel like you use the strips and you sort of want to touch up with the mouthwash. I do that sometimes too. Um, and it just kind of helps sustain what the strips did. So I don't have to like make my teeth sensitive because I know that whitening teeth can be very, very painful. So that is what I do and I find that that is just the best. Okay, so I'll just do a couple more, but one that I got asked that I actually thought was kind of like a fun question um, was what do you do when you're sad? And I don't know why I love this one. I feel like we all can have our hard days and they're not really talked about. So whenever I'm like sad or overwhelmed or, um, it's like having a bad day honestly what I do is I work out so I just love working out I've noticed that I don't know sometimes I do get overwhelmed I noticed in high school is that I'd get like anxiety almost and I wouldn't like want to go out and do anything or like just be around anyone just because I feel like there's just so much that goes on and we all have our own way of coping um, so in high school I would just kind of like chill at home with my family. But once I graduated, I had to like find a different outlet because I was up at college by myself. And so I would work out and I have just grown to love it so much. Whether it's just like going for a walk or like doing a really hard workout or just like getting my body moving for like literally like 30 seconds. I, it just helps me so much. So Whenever I'm having a bad day or a rough day, I definitely like to work out. Now I like to like cuddle Hudson too, but um, that's just kind of my outlet there. And I just think it's so important to know that everyone has hard days and that we um, are all human and that we, that there's definitely a way to kind of help yourself that um, get through those days. Yeah, I just liked that question. So one last question that I was asked was, where am I from and do I plan on staying there forever? So I am from Utah, born and raised, still in Utah. I actually really love it here. I love the mountains, my family's all here. Um, I feel like they have like really pretty sunsets. I don't love the snow. I'm not a huge snow person. I honestly didn't grow up skiing. Jake did, so Hudson probably will. Um, but I'm the worst skier ever in the whole world. So that's a no for me, but other than that, I really love it. I love all the lakes here. I love just kind of all the things that Utah has to offer. It's just very outdoorsy. I don't know that we'll live here forever. I think we'll always end up here permanently. Jake and I love to travel, so I could see us moving somewhere more tropical. We're both like in love with the ocean. I think we would pick the ocean over mountains, um, but with our family being here, we'd always just wanna be back here. So I think our dream would be to like move away for like maybe just a year or so and then move back, but then it's like hard because my family's all here. I think it'd be like a dream of ours to like move to Hawaii for like a year or so and then just move right back. That is where I am from and those are my plans for now. Uh, but with that being said and with us liking to travel, it's time to enter or for me to announce the giveaway that I've been talking about, which I'm really excited to do. So, for the giveaway, we decided to give away a Delta gift card. It never expires, because I know with COVID it's a bit difficult to travel right now, but I'm hoping things lift soon, or things change or whatever, but um, it never expires. So if you're down to travel now, you can use it now. If not, you can use it later. So to enter, 
I wanted to do this Q&A because I wanted you guys to get to know me, but I also want to get to know you guys. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and then leave a comment like letting me know something about you because I just feel like it's so important that we get to know each other. Um, I am so grateful for each and every one of my subscribers and I really do want to get to know you guys just because we're just in this together. Um, yeah, comment something about yourself down low so I can get to know more about you. And then we will announce the winner of the giveaway in like a week. So stay tuned for that. I'll do it on YouTube as well on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me there. I put the at in my description and I believe it also pops up at the end of my video. With that being said, we are so excited to do this giveaway and we will see you next week.